local historian Michael Wynn joins us today for a little history lesson and some good facts that we didn't know about things going on here in Sinla. Michael, thanks for joining us today. Always a pleasure. It's, it's, it's great to be on Good Day Sinla. Of course. Great to have you here and to learn a little bit about our history here in Sinla. Tell us a little bit about what you came to talk about today. Well, did you know that one of the greatest aviation pioneers of our world lived in Pineville? I did not. His name was Charles Frederick Page. He was an African-American. He was actually born into slavery in 1864. And according to his daughter in a, a later account, in the 1890s, he was watching a mosquito hawk. And he told people, if a mosquito hawk could fly, I can fly. So he started working on an airplane at, in his barn behind his house. His house is now an overgrown field uh, behind the CVS at the corner of Highway 28 East and Edgewood in okay. Pineville. And he built a version of, of the airplane. Wow. And in 1903, he sent in his patent application. It took three years to process, but in May of 1906, he was granted a patent for an airplane. But this is the great thing. He beat the Wright brothers because a month later, the Wright brothers got their patent for their version of the airplane. So a Pineville man made national history. But what happened? Well, while the, the patent was being processed in 1904, uh, the Louisiana Purchase World's Fair was going on in St. Louis, Missouri. And they had an aeronautic competition in which the prize was a half a million dollars. Wow. So Charles Frederick Page of Pineville packed up his airplane, put it on a train, and he was going to follow on, on train and go compete in it. But something happened. Uh-oh. We don't know exactly what happened. We believe due to racial relations of the time, his airplane was destroyed, and it completely discouraged him. And two years later, even though his patent came through, he just basically gave up on it, and it was forgotten in history. Charles Frederick Page did so many different other things. Uh, he, in 1911, he stopped a race war regarding the death of, of a, a white citizen in Pineville who was killed by a black, man, black citizen. He built coffins for poor people. He did amateur dem dentistry, which we wouldn't even consider today, <laughs> but people couldn't afford to have their teeth straightened, right. so he did it. Wow. He worked at the Greenwood Cemetery and he developed new tools on how to work at a cemetery, and he built his own cemetery, Lincoln Memorial Cemetery in Mason Street in Pineville. Wow. He did so many great things, and in 1937, he, he passed away and sadly was forgotten. But all this was covered in newspaper accounts. And what's amazing to me, even though most people in Pineville are not aware of this, in the, in the 1990s, the Smithsonian Institute had an exhibit on Charles Frederick Page of Pineville and his aeronautic uh, uh, acclaim. Wow. Uh, I wrote a book on it, and here's a uh, along with another aviation hero, a Paul Leo Artigo of, of Alexandria, which I'll talk about another time. And here is the only known picture of Charles Frederick Page. And why it's important today, it's always important about Charles Frederick Page, but what's important is later this month, we don't have a date set, the great city of Pineville under Mayor Rich Dupuy is uh, putting up a historical marker at the site of uh, Page's home on 28, Highway 28, a long time coming, and it is already getting national attention because people are gonna come, for, I'm told, from several conversations I've had from all over the nation to come and pay respect and homage to this the site of Charles Frederick Page of Pineville one of the aviation pioneers of our nation he should be in the history books as law as well as the Wright brothers and maybe one day he will absolutely yes and thanks to you and your uh, uncovering of, and the family and the, the city of Pineville yes mayor rich Dupuy and the city council yeah yeah so that is fantastic that you found all that out and you're bringing it to light here and uh, the historical marker is great too we want an update whenever that's ready and about to be installed too in Pineville absolutely and thank you for ha having me on today of course thanks Michael always for coming on we appreciate it sounds great